Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the Metro Framework Modern UI in Visual Studio 2019. Okay. Let's get started. We will search for the Metro UI in Google. Scroll down. And click this link. The Metro Modern UI 1.4.0. NoGet Gallery. And you will be directed to the website of NoGet.org. As you can see on home page of the website is the Metro Modern UI. And on the lower part, you can see the Package Manager tab. We will copy the install package. We will now go to the Visual Studio environment. Go to the Tools tab down to the NoGet Package Manager. Then click the Package Manager console. You can now see the Package Manager console has started below. And we will paste the copied text from the Metro UI website. And hit Enter. And as you can see that the installation of the package has ran successfully. We will now go to the Toolbox tab. What I am going to do now is to add new tab by right-clicking here and click the Add tab. I am going to type the name of the tab. I will name it Metro UI. After that, right-click Metro UI and click Choose Items. As you can see now, it is now loading all items inside the box. We will wait until it finishes loading all the items. Once it loads up completely, we will grab the DLL file by clicking the Browse button, and you can see here the file path where the downloaded DLL file is located. Now, we will browse to its location. We now have the DLL files. We will first get the Metro Framework DLL file. And click open. As you can see here, the highlighted items are the components that we've got from the Metro Framework. And click OK. We now have the available tools from the Metro Framework, and it is now inside the Metro UI tab in the Toolbox section. After that, we will then go to the Solution Explorer section and we're going to check if the other 2 DLL file from the Metro Framework has been added in the References of Visual Studio project. As you can see, we have the Metro Framework automatically added in the References. We have the Metro Framework.Design and the Metro Framework.Fonts. In case that it did not automatically add it, we can manually add it ourselves. We can do it by clicking the Add Reference and we will browse for the 2 DLL files from the Package folder.
Once we have located the DLL files, we can grab the two files at once and click the Add button. It will be added to the references. Ok, finally. I'm going to show you how to make this Form 1 inherit the properties from the Metro framework. We're going to click the sub-files and click the file name Dispose to open the code editor. Now? We will go to the line 3 of the code editor. You can see here the code that starts with the word inherit. We will edit the existing code to the code I'm going to show you. Metro framework. Dot. Forms. Dot. Metro form. And we now click the Form 1 design. You can now see the Form 1 has changed its appearance, it has now inherited the properties from Metro Framework. And we're going to design the form now. Go to the Metro UI tab under the Toolbox section. We're going to drag and drop the controls onto the form. Let's try to run the program. As you can see now, the font style and the appearance of the labels and text box have their new look. It is now more elegant. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to keep you notified of the new uploaded videos.